It's 3.50 in the morning. I'm going to the moon base because James is picking everyone up there at 4. So we can get to Victoria Airport before 5 because our flight leaves at 6. I love living here, but every time we leave this island, we got to get the 6 a.m. flight to Seattle. Vlogging, but I'm also vlogging. Yeah. The superior vlog. I'm also further ahead. Yeah. So I'm winning. Yeah. Yeah. Not only in vlogging, but by yeah. accomplishments. <laughs> you know. Oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> Dominated. Yeah, but we're here in Phoenix. Yeah, I've never been to Phoenix before. Adam's it's been warm. here a bunch. Yeah. yeah, it's it's warm even though we're inside and it's air conditioned clearly. Yeah. We landed in Phoenix and we found a lily. Hi. <laughs> and apparently we didn't, sitting next to each other. We too. didn't know we were going to catch up, but she, she was waiting by the chargers until we went to charge stuff. And then it was, yeah. <laughs> That's the congregation part. Yep. Seems like the safest place. And yeah, randomly, I'm, I'm... Sitting right next to me on the plane. Ian, Adam, James, and I all got booked together and we are spread thinly like a film across the plane. But Lily and I are sitting beside each other. <laughs> So you get to see how terrified I am on planes. Oh no. I'm super terrified of uh, flying. <laughs> I'll be there for you, don't worry. <laughs> it's fine. I'm quiet about it. Our flight's been delayed like four times now. And um, so now we're just... Well, actually, Ian's been amusing himself by... Um, uh, Airdrop bombing people. Mm -hmm. Some people have recently discovered the uh, the Beholder Shiba. It's like my least favorite image. <laughs> oh hey, we're preparing automatic repair. This will be fun. Not only are Lily and I sitting beside each other, but this was supposed to be her seat originally, and she switched with me because her legs don't even hit this thing, and then I get. <laughs> I can barely hit her bags. That's. <laughs> I mean, this is my superpower, though, for being tiny. Airplane sizes are never an issue for me. Which you have the exact opposite problem with. Yeah, sure. no, this is amazing. <laughs> this is fantastic. That's why I gave you my seat. Our day of travel is nearly at an end. Almost. I will miss this light room. Yeah. Yeah, me too. This is like. Put my leg up. <laughs> uh, yeah. You got hurt. We have to leave the club now? I don't. No, no, that's the opposite. <laughs> Alright, well, we land in the thing, so. Slept, and then my head kept going like this and hitting the chair, and, and I was like, it's fine, it's Kate. It's fine, it's Kate. <laughs> and then I woke up and I was like, why is my mouth so dry? Like that's how you Is it because you fell asleep going like <sighs> I, I, I sleep like this. It's gonna be on the internet. Hey, what's up? I'm hungry, but I'm excited. Yeah, I'm here. San Antonio, Texas. It is day zero or negative one of PAX South. We set up the booth right here. We got a whole ton of the uh, Wrestling Continues t-shirts and uh, of course their ever popular DVDs. I'm just gonna get things set up here and then probably top off for some Tex-Mex or oh, Whataburger but uh, we're very hungry. It's been a very long day of travel and yeah looking forward to getting some of the uh, legendary food of the South America in me. It 
is 8 p.m. local time. Uh, that's two hours ahead for us. So it's like 6 p.m. But we got up, at, well, I got up at 3.30 a.m., walked to the moon base. What have I even eaten today? I had a breakfast sandwich and then some chicken nugget. Holy crap, no wonder I'm hungry. I had a breakfast sandwich. Though. So, yeah, now we're at the county line and we're getting a giant pile of barbecue. It's not cheap, but it's in America, so the portions are also ridiculous. Yeah. I'm so hungry. <laughs> James and I have the unfortunate uh, distinction of being placed in room 1408, which, as you may know, was a movie with John Cusack. And nobody was, knows that. <laughs> yeah, everyone knows that. Trust me, there's some. There's people out there that know that. You just was me, Adam. John Cusack and uh, it was a Samuel L. Jackson. And like, doesn't he go there because they say that people can't stay overnight in that room? He's a he's a writer. That's what he is. I can't remember this movie now. He's a writer, and he's proving that he can stay in room 1408. And I think he just dies in the end, doesn't he? I don't know. I never saw it. I saw it. What was the Jim Carrey one? The <laughs> Mask. Yeah. That I the did. The Mask. <laughs> he's been sure. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, me and James are going to die. This might be the last recorded instance of us being alive. It was a good run. We got a lot in. At least we'll die in each other's arms, right? Yeah. Cowering in fear the I way mean, God like, intended like, in the map. Yeah. <laughs> It's the morning. <laughs> day, day, day one of PAX. We're going to go get Adam and James from the room across the hall. Let's see if they lived the night in room 1408. You. Did you guys die? or? I don't know. Are we ghosts? Are you ghosts? Ghosts? You have to tell me if you're a ghost. Adam, are we a ghost? I think we're ghosts. Shit. The whole river walk has a very sort of... I don't know, it has a Disneyland vibe. It reminds me of like... It does remind me of Disneyland. It reminds me of like the Jungle Cruise. Yeah. But with police. Police. It does remind me of like walking around in Disneyland, right? Yeah. Just that, like, I don't know. Just the way that it's all. The way it's all built and yeah. set up and it's stuff. It's an adventure. Right? I think it's with all the restaurants, too. Yeah. I like this guy's boat is just like a plank with a chair on it. Not called a barge? Yeah. I like that they're sort of embarrassed about it. Yeah. It's like, yeah, we, we, we realize that there should be water in here. So, like, on the downside, we have, like, a 10, 15-minute walk from the hotel to the convention center. On the upside, it's entirely along the river walk. Yeah, it's great, actually. So, I can get used to this. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's pretty all right. Nice. Yeah. Imagine if this is, like... I guess you get tired of it if you had to walk it every day. Oh, probably, but it's nicer to walk along the street. Yeah, that's true. So now we get to see the show floor early. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. This should be interesting. actually isn't that bad. Yeah. I was really worried when I first saw it. I was like, my hands are too big. <laughs> okay. Are you also in this? Is this actually just all four of us? Yeah, I think so. I, I think that's the idea. No! Who won? You did? Yep. What? Oh, Ian. Oh, Ian. Ian crushed it. Yeah. Adam, you, yep. have, you, have, you have giant hands. Yes. How did, how's the switch? It actually felt really good. It was good? Yeah, 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 yeah. It didn't feel like weird or... It's not like a... It wasn't like the, the 3DS where you're like... Right. Your vulture clawing it, but this was like, it's wide enough. It, it felt good to me, actually. I was really surprised. How many balls are inside the box? Make sure to examine each ball individually to make sure there are no marks. 
or bumps. If you find one, consult your doctor immediately. Do you want to wear the hat? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I didn't even know this was an option. Fire! Oh, that was really good, guys. Let's see. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Got to play the switch. Got a nice lapel pin afterwards. So that was cool. Yeah. A sweet little the uh, the pro controller feels very much like the pro oh. controller for the Wii, which is sweet because I was a good pro controller and. Uh, I'm, I mean, I was already fairly into the idea of the Switch, and I'm definitely on it now. The Joy-Cons are a bit tiny? Yeah, the Joy-Con without the... So, if you have the strap attachment, uh, they're a little more pleasant to hold. <laughs> but generally speaking, if, especially if you take those off, the Joy-Cons, at least for my giant hands, are way too small. You got the weird one with the, uh, the little nubbin right in the center. Yeah, I don't like it. That's quite small. But Not yeah, a fan. If, if they can continue games like uh, WarioWare and Rhythm Heaven for this platform, it's going to be a fantastic, yeah. fantastic platform. That's why I hate playing with monitors. They never want to play healer. Look, someone's got to switch to Lucio. I don't know. I don't actually really know anything about him. All I know is that we occasionally get mixed up on Twitter. People will hit me up on Twitter and be like, yo! I'm like, yeah, that's not me. This food court in the mall that's very near the convention center. Because I've been here before. And, like, value for money, this is ridiculous in terms of, like, how much food they pack into these styrofoam containers. But it's the $5 beer special. Because they're in a war. Bourbon Street Cajun Grill is specifically in a war with Tokyo. Little Tokyo. Little Tokyo. Um, the big cheese. And uh, uh, they're in a fight. And so they keep lowering beer prices. So this, which is like 32 ounce beer or something, is $5? Dude, this is unbelievable. This in Canada would be like, this would be the price of what we paid for the meal. Like, the, this was like 12, this would be like 12 bucks. Yeah. yeah. Did you get one? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I just got a job. I, <laughs> yeah. I think Adam put it best when he said, it would be rude not to. Yeah. Little Tokyo's loss is our gain, right? Yeah. <laughs> I have to use two hands. Because oh, when I think $5 beer, I think Christmas. <laughs> Hey, how's it? Hey, how's this framed? Can you see the sign? That, that's okay. It doesn't need to be lit. Jason is awkwardly lighting me while we are at the bar at the Marriott. The name of the bar at the Marriott is the Bar. There's a different Marriott across the road that also has a bar named the Bar. Jesus, why? Why so much light? It's so. What? Jeez. Nah! Oh god! Uh, uh, Hairlight now. Well, I mean, I'm very well lit, which is nice. Anyway, now that I'm badly lit again, the point is there's two different Marriott's <laughs> across the street from each other that both have a place called the bar, so it's really challenging to give directions. Here, I'll just stand by- thanks, James. Yeah. I'll just stand under the lights from this Margaritaville. Yeah, Margaritaville! It's so bright at Margaritaville. Of course, we're walking down the streets in San Antonio under a immensely brightly lit Margaritaville while we are the champions place over top of dozens of boys filling up their vape pens with vape juice. <laughs> 2017. So what a year to be alive. Do you need to do you need to specify vape juice? Can't you just say filling up their vape pens with juice? Or are you worried no, that people might imply like, oh no, filling it up with OJ? Can you, can you vape orange juice? I don't know, it could be steroids. Juice. You juice in that vape? Tonight on Ian's a fucking ruiner, <laughs> Ian ruins secondhand vape smoke.
Remember, kids, when you smell that sweet, sweet caramel vape inside your lungs, that's been inside another human being. Right in there. Th thanks, thanks for that, Ian. That's that's great. I'm going inside. This elevator, we can go all the way down to T. There's like five or six elevators, and this one goes down to level T, which is, I don't know what T stands for, but it's below ground. Oh, right, yeah, this is the room that smells like it is flooded. It's definitely, this room is flooded before. Which is why there's this submarine airlock. Sides of which inflate. Yeah. To keep the water out. Wow. All right, PAX day two. Saturday. Typically the big day. It's the only day that was sold out at the beginning of PAX, which is insane to me as a PAX. But they were able to add a lot more attendees this year, obviously, because of the expansion of the uh, it's a big new building. Convention center. Yeah. So, um, don't know how it's going to go in terms of attendance. I'm curious to find out. But... It's not really going to affect what we do. No, <laughs> We're no, just going to keep on keeping on. Uh, then we have our panel at 5. Mm. And then Adam and I are going to NXT TakeOver San Antonio. NXT. 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 I, I, I know the wrestling. Well, you know that one chant, because Adam hasn't stopped That's doing it at any point. So. And cue the montage of Adam... NXT. <laughs> I don't think I've recorded it, but I would. I appreciate the, the throw. Wait, did yeah. you bring this all from the Netherlands? Yeah. Oh, Holy so crap. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I'm here now with... Uh, Daniel. Daniel. Uh, username Chadman in the chat. Hey. Yeah. Uh, so... This chart for Ian, which I guess he's just one color. Yeah. It's our sour. That might not make it back to Canada. <laughs> so these are these are legit strip waffles? These are the most <laughs> legit. <laughs> these are counterfeit waffles. Yes. Yeah. I was hoping you were gonna grab the package and like these are fake. No, these are these, <laughs> are these are the most legit strip waffles you can possibly get. Damn. Uh, so when we were on deployment, um, we got stuck on the Iranian border for about two weeks back in about 2008. And there was no internet out there. So before we left, we downloaded a bunch of the sketches and stuff from the Loading Ready Runner website, and my entire unit just fell in love with it. So we had a gift made for you uh, that is uh, exclusive to our company. And our, so on behalf of the 9th Engineer Battalion, thank you guys for everything. That is amazing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Absolutely. This is... This is a collection of every uh, okay, so preview card we've done. Yeah. <laughs> Man, if Adam was here... Royal Rumble. 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 The road to the WrestleMania. Yes. We're in the Falcon Theater for our panel, and it's a very big theater, so that's good. Iron Brew, welcome to uh, Streaming 101. <laughs> Magical things happen when you break the fourth wall. Join us as we discuss making your stream more an interactive experience for your community. Is the notes that were left here when we arrived? 
I want to know this handwritten one that I yeah. love. Why are people so mean? <laughs> I like this. Oh, what? Our vision for the future. <laughs> just an empty it's bullet point. Empty, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's just nothing we there. We can't see a future. Yeah. Cool. I mean, to be fair, that's how I feel every time someone's like, Canadian? Oh, maple oh, syrup. Maple syrup. <laughs> yeah. Salmon in the stream. Yeah. Igloos. Yeah. Although, I, did, I was listening to a radio show where someone was being interviewed from Vermont, and they were like, well, you know, of course, Vermont is known for having the best maple syrup in the world. And I was Bullshit. like, hey, fuck you! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. What the hell? They don't even have a strategic reserve. We don't have much, yeah. but... It's really good. That's amazing. Oh, really good. Yeah. Hey, it's an episode of Ride Along. <laughs> Hi! Here on the, the, the G Vlog Network. Yeah. Uh, it's Graham and Adam riding with Katniss Bot from Hello. the chat. <laughs> I actually for, have forgotten your real really? name. I'm Samuel. Samuel, Samuel. yeah. We're on our way We're, to NXT TakeOver. We're really excited. NXT. 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 Nice. Nice. That's pro signage. <laughs> <laughs> We found it. <laughs> That's real pro signage right there. Yeah. That is some pro signage <laughs> right there. Pro signage. That is. Ooh. <laughs> some good sign. Right there. That's right there. Sign. Hi. We're here. <laughs> So oh my God, you're so it's so bright. It doesn't work. It's a bad idea. How sweet was Takeover? It was. I want to do that every night for the rest of my life until the day I die. It was so much fun. Yeah. My throat hurts from singing along with theme songs. Yeah, dude. And I'm cheering. Just, I got, Man, that crowd was hype. Yeah. I, I got a few tweets saying people were like, oh, they were kind of quiet until DIY came out. But no. No. Dude. They, they were, were not. Nuts. They were nuts for Dillinger. Oh my God! Yes. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. What? Did you not hear the tens? Yeah. It was they crazy. They were nuts for Dillinger. It was insane. Yeah. And then they were. I felt like the crowd was into every match. But that's just me. Let's try even, this uh, bright ass light. There we go. Bottom lit. How's that? And it looks yeah, awful. I bet. Even like. I mean, backwards. the only match I think you could say that they weren't. There we go. They weren't that. Excited for or that into was uh, the Roger Strong. Yeah, which turned was a better match than people were expecting. Yeah, no, it was they, a sweet near match. At the end of it, they got into it, like the crowd yeah. was into it. Yeah, right? yeah. So this is our mini sidewalk slam episode on Takeover. <laughs> yeah. It was great. It was awesome. It was super great. Thanks, Ian, for being our grip with the light. Yeah. Oh, he's oh, now yeah. attached it to the back of his collar oh, so perfect. that he can just he walk forever. in front of us yeah. and light. <laughs> yeah. Vlog forever. <laughs> Vlog forever. From behind, he just looks like a monster with a glowing head. Yeah. This is amazing. Oh my god, he, this is amazing. You are the, you are the movie poster for the thing. <laughs> it's the morning. Day three of PAX and my voice has gone away. Probably from all the yelling. So that's good. I don't know what I have to contribute to this video now. <laughs> yeah. Mine's like, my throat's a little fucked actually when I talk, but yeah, I'm ready. 
just conserving energon cubes right now. You never know, man. So I have a problem with that. Energon cubes were... Sometimes they'd eat them, sometimes they'd drink them. It was very unclear as to what they actually were. They're cute. Yeah, but were they gel? Were they, uh, oh. like, a, a brick? I think it is. They yeah, could do anything they wanted with it. There we go. Yeah. I think they could do whatever they wanted with them. You know Megatron, what I mean? you have to put this up your ass! <laughs> 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 yeah. Morning Whoa, thoughts with rumble. Starscream. Kinko's getting the signs printed out for the rumble. Um, Adam wants to make a they don't want none section, and uh, his budget was 40 bucks, and so I got him fi fi 50 copies. So there's gonna be a pretty big AJ Styles section, hopefully, and I got my stupid Roman Reigns thing, so that's good. Heading backstage now at the PAX Main Theater for the Jackbox at PAX Box panel. That's how it's written. Um, where we're going to play Jackbox games on stage in front of a bunch of people, and it's going to be great. Is this the way to backstage? Yes, it is. Delightful. Thank you. Oh, -ho. thanks so much. You're welcome. Stage left. Authorized. Personnel only. In this moment, it is me. Backstage, up the stairs. Up the stairs. No, yeah, yeah. Up these stairs. Yes. Okay, great, thank you. Yes. Get yourself a little... Get make sure as you get going. Yeah, get my pop star microphone. Here, Sorry, the, uh, feel free to do whatever you need to do. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right, cool. Is it too tight? No. Okay. No. Move Who's your head around a little bit, make sure it's not going to move on us. There you go, cool. Cool, thank you. Now, I was going to say, do some jumping jacks or anything, but you're not going to be done now, so... No, I'll make sure to tone down my stage diving. There we go. <laughs> um, but let's meet our panelists. Uh, over here we have, from Loading Ready Run 1, Graham Stark. Hello! Woo! Nice to see everybody. Oh, man. You guys did your research. This is my biggest nightmare. <laughs> Buscemi Tracks is my least but favorite. No, no, but I, I think that Buscemi like Tracks great. could also be a game by Telltale. Yeah. You know what I mean? This was the right choice. Thank you. <laughs> I do like Buscemi Tracks. So. <laughs> I don't. Uh, this is amazing. <laughs> is it enough? I don't, I don't think that's enough. Is it going to... Claw you to claw your way to it's the top. Over. Let's see the final scores. No. Sneeze acknowledged. Oh, wow. Yeah. Graham holds on. Oh. Yeah. Hey. A double win. win. TKO of the other related. I've won the fifth match. Our family's here. Hey, we're on stage. We're vlogging from the stage. We're vlogging from the stage. We're vlogging, we're vlogging from, together oh, no. from the stage. What Goodbye. Happened? Vlogging together from the stage. What? I'm still vlogging stage. from the stage together. We're vlogging from the stage and the panel just finished. I finally won the thing. I won the Quiplash once. It was great. Adam Seven and we're going to the Royal Rumble right Holy now. Holy shit. How yeah. excited are you? I am about a six right now, but it'll increase as we walk there and when we step in the arena. Just and then everything every starts. inch. 6.01, 6.02, 6.03. It'll go. Pretty yeah, that's every time I get an extra inch, that's how I feel too. We are walking to the Alamo Dome. No, I mean like excitement wise. Oh! About an eight. <laughs> nice. I'm in skipping mode, so.
are the other three just watching? It's 5.30 in the morning. I mean, it's the morning. I mean, I don't, whatever. It sucks. I'm tired and possibly sick. Actually, that's not a possible. That's definitely sick. The possible is Ian might be drunk. I was responsible and uh, tasted all the beers that our fans gave us. Yeah, because we couldn't take the beers home. And I, uh, sorry man, I couldn't drink them. So Ian drank all the beers. Daniel had given me Imperial, so they were 11% and he didn't quite realize that. So mistakes were made. Now we gotta go to the airport. I mean, the upside will be back home by like 1.30 in the afternoon. The downside is I may want to die. How are you doing? I'm good. Airport's not too busy apparently, so. What? How are you doing? I'm good. Uh, we're at the airport. I found Dayquil. And group one is boarding. We're in group three. I got a smoothie and a deeply mediocre muffin. Not because I'm hungry, but because I know I have to eat. Everyone else I think is doing better, if tired. Does that bother you? That is dirty. Adam's freaking in out with pictures of dusty PC cases. <laughs> It's, it's not good. <laughs> I mean, the awakeness. That's not good. No, I do not enjoy the awakeness. Have you confirmed whether or not you're drunk? Oh, no. I'm, I am. I won't call myself stone cold sober, but like warm inside your bed stone sober. I, I'm really thinking a lot about bed right now. He is a little buzzed. I'm not excited about this. But there's Wi-Fi, so I can lose it magic again. That'll be fun. Alright, we're on the ground in... <clears throat> San Francisco now, and I can't hear properly. Everything so I'll try to replicate it. On the video, everything sounds muffled and awful. And what uh, happens when you if, when you edit this video, you still can't hear it. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> I mean, if you still can't hear that well when you're editing this video, you probably should go to a hospital. Yeah, that's true. Because you're not going to go home and edit this video today. No, no, so, not today. So yeah. We'll see. We will see. But yeah, it's uh... It was a fine flight, but landing was painful and chitty. So, yay. It's a very springy floor on this. Yeah. Walking, or moving sidewalk. Walking sidewalk? Why can't, why can't I make simple sentences? So Ian wanted to check out the duty free. We walked all over Hell's Half Acre to find the terminal the duty free is actually in. True. But it's in the international district. But because we're boarding in five minutes, can't get anything. Nope.